what you should be doing now in to prepare for the hurricane is to make sure you have enough food for your pet for the next five days, food and water, because we might not be able to get to the stores after the storm. Also, if your animals are, are taking medication at the moment, make sure that that is in a, in a safe place. With the more popular pets on island being dogs, Blair advised dog owners on how to protect them during this time. Um, the main thing with dogs is to make sure on their collar there is some sort of uh, phone number on there and their name and if you have a tag that would be great. If you don't have a tag just write the phone number on, on the collar. Um, the other thing is we do know a lot of our dogs do live outside on this island um, to make sure if they're tied up you must un untie them because of course if they're in the middle of the storm and you can't get to them then, then they could be trapped. And what we're advising is, if you can, is to bring your dog in inside for the, for, the, for the night of the storm. And if you have a cat, if you could do that. But if you can't, then let the animal go free because they will find the highest point and they will find somewhere that is safe and they will ride out the storm, uh, ride out the storm then. But I also spoke about the stray animal population, which is a cause for concern, and the TCSPCA is appealing to the public to assist with securing animals in any way they can. This is what can happen because pet owners, we hope, will care for their own pets. If you do see an animal, a neighbor, that the animal is still tied up, please speak to them and say, untie that animal because they cannot really survive during a, a severe storm if they're tied to, to a tree. So if your neighbor does have an animal or if you know somebody is on vacation who doesn't know about this, they're not here and their dog is tied, then you should go over and, uh, you know, and, release, and, and release the dog. Player said that with three veterinarians on the island, they are sure to tend to all medical emergencies and injuries that may occur throughout the duration of the storm. However, the facilities will be closed until the storm has passed. So there won't be any vet care during, during the storm time, but early tomorrow morning, if people are worried about their animals and there's injuries, there are three vets on the island to call, the TCSPCA, TC Vets, and also, also Dr. Mark, Mark Woodring. The emergency contacts for the veterinaries are the TCSPCA at 231-3052, TC Vet at 946-4353, and Woodring House at 231-0685. Blair is confident that the animals island-wide will be safe during the course of the storm. For WIV4 News, I'm Tian Thomas.